Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's Echo Stretch. In this video, we're going to go over how to download your own packages, store it on your PC using the Homebrew Store. This was created by Lightning Mods, and I believe Mod of Warfare helped out as well. I will leave links in the description, guys. You can go ahead and download all the files needed. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, so now that we're over to the computer, we'll go over to packagezone.com. And up in the right hand corner, you will see download homebrew store. Just go ahead and click on that and download it. I've already went ahead and downloaded the package. But yeah, once you do get it downloaded, just go ahead and open up your USB drive. Just make sure that it is FAT32 for the file system or XFAT. Um, but yeah, once that is done, just go ahead and click on it and drag it over to the root. Now, it shouldn't take too long to copy over as it is a pretty small file. But yeah, once it's done, we can go ahead and jump over to the PS4. Okay, so now that we're over to the PS4, we'll go ahead and launch our browser. Go ahead and load up your host that you usually use. I'll be using Chameleon's host for this video. Um, but yeah, once you do get in, just go ahead and load the latest Goal 10. Now, I've already went ahead and loaded it. So if we go ahead and back out, we're going to go ahead and jump over to our settings. Go into our Goal 10 options. We'll go ahead and insert our USB now with the... Uh, homebrew store on it and we'll go ahead with package installer we'll see it there store-r2.package go ahead and just select it and let it install shouldn't take very long as you can see it does go pretty quick um, we'll go ahead and back out of there and you can see that I do have it here now what I like to do is just go ahead and add it to my application folders um, you can go ahead and just leave it on your main screen there if that's where you like it but uh, I like to be a little organized so that's where it's going to stay. Once it is installed, we can go ahead and jump back over to the computer. Okay, so now that we're over to the computer, we'll jump on Lightning Mods GitHub host. Um, from here, we'll just go over to the right side, and at the time of the video, 1.01 is the latest update. Just go ahead and click on that. It will automatically start downloading. There is a few more files we'll need. If we do scroll down to latest store update here, go ahead and click on that. And there's three files we'll need here, the homebrew elf, the homebrew elf.sig, and the remote md5. Go ahead and download those three files as well. Once you do get them downloaded, you can go ahead and click on the store, just right click on it, and extract to store. Okay, and it should just make a folder for you. From there, you can just jump in there. And we just need to get these files over, so we'll just create a new folder inside the, the store folder, and just name it update. Um, and don't forget the U. Update. There we go. And then you can go ahead and just jump in there. And then drag over your three files. Go ahead and back out. And we're good to open up the store now. We can go ahead and select it. And if you do get a security warning, just go ahead and say yes to it. Um, but yeah, you should be good to go. So we can close out of that now. And then at the very top here, it does display IP addresses. Um, it does show up all the IP addresses. So if you're unsure of your IP, just go ahead. In my case, I'm using wireless. Uh, if you're using your networking, just go ahead and click properties. Scroll down to the very bottom here, and you should see IP address minus 10.0.0.164. So we can go ahead and select that in the menu. From there, just your path. Um, of your packages so go ahead and hit browse um, and just find the location for your your files mine's on the G drive I believe and it's in backups there we go go ahead and hit OK and then we'll go ahead and hit add packages give it a few moments uh, it usually doesn't take very long but depending on your drive and how many packages you do have it can take a little bit of time um, as you can see, we did find 32 valid packages of 32. Uh, sometimes it might come up. Um, I've also tested it with uh, if you download um, retail packages, you know, if they come in like split files, it won't come up. It'll come up. I found them, but they're just not valid packages uh, because they're not merged together. But yeah, once you do get that there, you can go ahead and hit start. And then once you get this here network warning, just hit up allow access and you're good to go from there we can go ahead and jump over to the PS4 
Okay, so now that we're over to the PS4, we'll go ahead and launch our homebrew store. If this is the first time launching, it will uh, do a few updates. Shouldn't take too long, 30 seconds top. Uh, if any messages come up, just go ahead and hit OK on them. Um, give it a few more seconds, and we should be good to go. Okay, one more message there. Enjoy the homebrew store. Just go ahead and hit OK on that. And then once we do get it opened up and everything loads up, it will load the packages from the online server as you can see they're all there but we're going to go ahead and configure it to grab the packages from our pc so we'll go down to settings and from here we'll go to content delivery network um, if we go ahead and bring up our little tool let's go ahead and bring that up you can see our pc ip address that we put in or that we selected i should say go ahead and delete out the api package zone and type that in. So 10.0.0.164. Go ahead and hit R2 for done. Now if we want to store it on our PS4, we can go ahead and just leave it at that and hit save settings. Um, the only downfall with it, if you want to go ahead and launch the packages from the online server, then you have to go ahead and change the content delivery network back to the API package zone. Um, but there is another way we can do it that's pretty simple. Um, most people do have a USB laying around. Go ahead and go into your INI pack path. Go ahead and select it. And we'll go ahead and just back over here and we'll delete all this out of here. If you look down to the bottom left there, to your storage area, you can see that your USB is plugged in, in the mount USB. So we can go ahead and use the USB drive as our setting, our second settings. So if the, in, the USB is inserted, it'll grab the settings from there. And if we unplug it, it'll go ahead and grab the settings from the PS4, which are the default settings. And then we can just go ahead and go from there. So let's go ahead and put the MNT in. And then we'll put our slash in. And then USB 0. Now you might have more than one USB there. Just make sure you do select the correct USB storage. Uh, if you're unsure of which one it is, just go ahead and unplug all your other USB devices. And then you'll be able to see exactly which one it is. Okay, so go ahead and hit R2 on that. And we'll go ahead and hit Save Settings. Go ahead and hit OK. Now for the settings to take effect, just go ahead and hold your PlayStation button, hit close on it. Okay, so now when we do go and launch it again, just pay attention to our local store CDN server. As you can see, it is grabbing the files that we put in our update folder. And if we go ahead and hit OK, it should start getting all our packages. There we go. So it's grabbing all the PNGs, and as you can see, it did load up all our packages. Now, we can go ahead and select one. Um, depending on the size of them, they may take a little bit of time. Um, I've tested it with a few small ones. On wireless, it's not so fast, um, but when you are plugged in, it is pretty quick. Uh, we can go ahead and install Uno. Let's go ahead and just move out of our server there, just get that out of the window. And uh, we'll go up one here. I believe the main package. No, that's not the main package. Okay, so go ahead and select it. And if you take a look at the path name, you can see that it is version 100. So we know that's the main package file. Go ahead and hit download. It will start downloading depending on if you're on wireless or um, if you're plugged in. It'll determine the speed. But you can go ahead and hit circle at any time. Uh, go right back out to the main if you want get down to your queue and as you can see it is downloading there I believe currently the max number of downloads you can have is four but yeah you can go ahead and download the game plus uh, the update and maybe some DLC go ahead and go do something while that's downloading and then uh, come back and it should be done um, but we'll let that go ahead we're at 50 percent now I'm just gonna go ahead and skip ahead Okay, so we're just about done there. If you're on wired, then it will go a lot quicker. I'm currently on wireless on the PS4 and the PC, so it did 
take a little bit of time, but not too long. So if we go ahead and jump up to ready to install, we can go ahead and select the game and click on it and just jump over to install. Give it a few moments to install. Depending on the game, um, it doesn't usually take very long. Usually your typical game, however long it does take to install, is what you'll get. So you can see this is a pretty small game. It does go pretty quick. But yeah, once it's done installed, just go ahead and hit OK. And we can go ahead and close out of our homebrew store. Okay, so we can see the game up here. Um, now to go back to our other homebrew store with the online packages, we can go ahead and just unplug our USB. It's simple as that. Just go ahead and unplug it, launch the homebrew store, let it boot up, and it will boot up with our online packages. And if you want to go back to the ones on your computer, go ahead and launch your server pop in your USB and uh, they'll come up so there's no changing files or anything everything's already done as long as you keep the settings file on your USB you're good to go but yeah guys that's basically it for the video just want to jump on there I will leave links in the description for everything but yeah if you like the video go ahead and hit that like button and if you're not subscribed already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching